say if a bat is flying overhead, calling for insects or sending out its echolocation trying to find insects, that will get picked up by the bat detector and it'll be transmitted to this screen right here so we can see it in real time and then it'll be recorded. So on Monday morning when we download it, it'll be superimposed on a map of Whitnell Park and we'll be able to tell what bats were hit or what bats were recorded at what particular time. But if you listen, there was a that was a bat doing its uh, uh, a search at Echo Locate. Do you know what bat it was? That's a bat. Listen. Oh, you, you have it's that. Can you hear it? Can you hear that? That's a bat. Now, for some reason, it's not showing it on the screen, but it is recording. So when we download this on Monday, it'll it'll show the frequency of the bat, the pattern of. Listen. Okay. It'll. It'll show the pattern of the sonogram, and from that, that'll tell you what species it is. So that's nothing but bats right now. They're circling overhead. Way overhead. <laughs> well, you can get them in silhouette occasionally. If you look up, you can occasionally see them in silhouette. Way overhead. Wow, this is like, uh, for some reason, this is a good bat, bat area. Central. Yeah, this is bat central right here. Lots of bats here. If you listen to that. So has anyone caught a glimpse of any of the silhouette? Oh, I caught one in the silhouette right over here. I think up over the edge of the trees is where you'd probably see it. Wow, this is majorly bat central here. Oh my gosh. Wow. Maybe this is just close. And we hope to see all of you at a future Wear Nature Center event like Bug Day or Cider Sunday. So thank you very much for coming out here. And if you're interested in doing citizen science and doing your part to learn more about bats and do bat science, please uh, feel free to come up to me after the program. So thank you very much. Thank you.